Girl, lady drama over here can't even take a night off and stay off the internet because it seems drama is always around the corner. Life by you, as you may have heard, is cancelled. She's done. Over. Finito. Acabo. When I first saw the post on Sims Community's page, I was shook. Less than a month ago, I posted a video about the latest news of the game being delayed for like the third time since the early access release was announced. But I didn't expect for the team to simply cancel the project completely. The cancellation was announced on their blog page and I'm gonna link the official post in this video's description if you wanna have a look. To give you a summary, they're saying in a very corporate shielded way that the projections they had made for how much it was gonna cost to release the game were wrong. I mean, that's not what they explicitly said, but as someone who worked in corporate for a very long time, this is what the cancellation smells a lot like to me. Paradox probably originally talked to their shareholders about Life by You in the same way they hyped it at the beginning with the community. But as time passed and improvements probably didn't meet the expectations or standards, it became clear to them that prolonging the development would have meant more investment on the project, with the fear that the game's final revenue wouldn't have pleased their investors. Again, this is my opinion on the cancellation, as what Paradox officially shared with the community is that the game wasn't ready and they didn't want to release it in an unfinished way. I love that in the statement they also said. So how do we ensure we don't find ourselves here again? Honestly, there are no real guarantees. Girl, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is the same mantra I tell myself like every day. <laughs> but I'm not a public multi-million dollars company. I'm just a girl that, as Manny, was hoping with all her heart that we were gonna get some tangible competition for EA when it comes to live simulation games. And I do appreciate that they would rather cancel the project than release half-baked content that would have just scammed people for their money, or even worse, oblige the company to give refunds due to structural problems and players complained. At the same time, I can't look past the fact that this was more of a corporate business move rather than a we care for our players kind of move. And I truly, truly hope that the cancellation of Life by You won't come with the layoff of Paradox employees who probably worked tremendously hard on the game, hoping it would see the light of day. I am part of those people who thought the game had a lot of potential, while at the same time I was afraid the overall look would have turned off my excitement for the gameplay. But nonetheless, I was very much looking forward to at least seeing how it was gonna perform. So, I guess that for now we can keep looking at indie game Paralives and protect the Paralives team at all costs. If you haven't seen it yet, I also have a video about the current state of Paralives, which you can find right here at the Drama House, babes. And if you're interested in brainstorming to gather some opinions on the future of live sim games, or more specifically, a hypothetical The Sims 5 game, you might enjoy this video right here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section your thoughts and prayers for the early demise of life by you and join me at the Drama House if you haven't yet. My name is Lady Drama. I hope I'll see you very soon.